So I just watched this short video in which Trudeau was mobbed by a bunch of fucking assholes in Hamilton recently. And I'm grossed out beyond belief. Okay? The comments were saying things like, he's the worst prime minister we've ever had. And he's brought shame onto Canada. And the world needs a, cons a Tory PM right now. And I am, I'm fucking terrified because the way that everything is going right now, we are probably going to end up, we, I say we, the vast stupid majority, they're going to be voting in the Tories into prime minister as a prime minister again and like so many people have such short fucking memories about what it was what it's like to have a tory like a, uh, a tory prime minister like for most of my aware life um growing up the zeitgeist was about Chrétien, like Jean Chrétien, he's probably going to die in the office. He's been elected like 13 times. No, 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 no. We didn't think, and like, so it was basically back then it was verse, it was like a mummified old school French Canadian liberal versus anybody. So it was like getting rid of the dinosaurs, so to speak. You idiots don't remember what it was like to have a Tory at all. You just thought it was shits and giggles with Chrétien, and now we're on Trudeau. You don't remember Mulroney at all. Like, you don't remember his constituents. You do not seem to understand what is going on right now, especially in Ontario, when it comes to how everything is basically being swiped right, and nobody is giving a shit about anybody except for the wasps. Yeah, the wasps. If you don't know what that means, it means white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. I'm talking about you, whiteies talking about my fellow peaches yeah Canada has always prided itself in being not America while America continues to call us America Junior and I growing up hated that shit I was like no Canada has a culture Canada has its own culture I mean come on like we're Canada we're nice we're friendly we're not American that's pretty much what we are right right with this Trudeau shit you're basically proving that we are that we're we're not Canada. You know, we we are America Junior. You are confirming that we are indeed America Junior. Trudeau is not the perfect prince that he wants himself to be, that his family legacy has claimed him to be. He's not perfect. But under the Trudeau Trudeau government, I can live as I am. I am people like me can live as we are. I know you fuckers don't give a shit about us, but we've been able to come out more. We've been able to have our rights more. And now we're going to lose them. Because everybody has, has Tory amnesia. Everybody forgets. Nobody remembers what it was like to be under a Tory regime. I was young, but I remember Everything was so <sighs> bad. It was bad. Like, it was bad. It was going so hard. And the reason why we ended up going back to liberal and not NDP because fuck, fucking God. I'll get into that another day. The reason why we went back to liberal was because of the fact that Mulroney was fucking ruining the, ruining the country. And he dies recently and everybody's calling him a hero. Like... You know Pierre Trudeau, like Justin's dad, and like everybody hated him so much. Everybody hated him, and that when he died, there were jokes about putting his body in the under the four hundred one so that everybody could drive over him. And then when Mulroney dies, oh, he was such a hero! Look at all the wonderful things he did. Look at all the wonderful things he's done. Look at all the things he did for us. Oh, there'll be nobody like him ever again. Good. Like this country 
is fucking stupid when in the hands of peach people. Pink white people, we suck. And yes, Trudeau is white. You kind of get what I'm going with here. Like, okay. I don't think this country is okay right now. I think we are very close to following America when it comes to being right-wing and conservative and as Tory as can be. I think that if we're not careful and if people who are younger don't vote, then the people who are older who will vote are just going to fucking ruin this country. Like, you want to know what it's going to be like country countrywide? Look at what Rob Ford is doing. Doug Ford. Sorry, see, they're so similar in my brain that I always put them together. They're interchangeable in my head. Look at what Doug Ford is doing to Ontario right now. Look at it. It's a sewage fire. And his supporters are huge. In that video in Hamilton, shame on Hamilton, by the way. Eat my shit, Hamilton, and all the people who went there. If you didn't support in that, good for you. You're not on my shit list. Everybody in that video, suck my dick. If I had one. Suck my clip. Okay? You have no idea how good we have it under Trudeau. Like, it is almost unlivable here in Ontario right now. Everything is expensive. Everything. And the people who made it expensive are blaming the people who are just trying to live. And nobody gives a fuck. Because the people in power are benefiting the most. And because the scum under their shoes don't matter. They don't give a shit about what happens to us. Because according to them, it's status quo. So we deserve it. Is that what you want? You want Canada to become known as a butthole of the world like America is right now? And America, do you see this change? Do you see this change? And do you, like, Americans, do you not see take responsibility for it? Like, especially, like, I know I get a lot of right-wing assholes watching me, but you guys take up most of my fan base. I don't know why you subscribe to me if I am absolutely your, your opposite in every way. Hate subscribing. Yay. It's a waste of life. But do you not see what you've done? Like, I look, I think back to 2016. And when Terry and I, I, I was like, we have to get married now. Because I was terrified about what was going to happen. And I had just, like, we were just, we were just two queer bees. We hadn't, we were just teetering. I was starting to, like, really lean into being non-binary, even though I didn't really know what it was at the time. And, like... My spouse wasn't there, like, or they were there yet, but they just weren't ready and, like, or it just didn't really occur to them to come out or whatever, like. So I'm like, we have to get married. We are queer, two queer people. We are interracial. If we don't get married now and the Tories get back in power, we're fucked because they're going to take those rights away. They're going to take away the right to marriage, our, our right to a queer marriage. They're going to take our, our every, like, everything. We have to get married now so that we have it legal now. And then Trump got elected that same fucking year. Like, not even months later, Trump was elected. And I remember that night. It wasn't even my country. And Terry and I, we just looked at each other and we were just like, oh my god. And then we just hugged. These are real tears, yeah. It's cringe to cry on camera. I get that. But I can't control my emotions sometimes, okay? I was really terrified because like so many of you fucking idiot Americans wasted your votes. You could have done something good. I'm not saying Hillary Clinton was good. She was trash too. She is trash. She sh it, it would have, but it would have been not this bad. It would have been a lot better. Like people think that Canada is so peaceful. Where do you think the proud boys came from? Yeah, we got, we did that. Like, Jordan Peterson is Canadian. Like, Canada isn't what it, what we thought, like, what it, it should be anymore. Canada is becoming America Jr. And this anger towards Trudeau 
a person who is not perfect, who has fucked up royally on so many occasions, who has screwed over the indigenous population gleefully on myriad accounts. And I will not ever let him or his administration hold that down, forget about it, any of that. They no. If you're gonna fight, if you're gonna get rid of him, get rid of him for the right reasons. Don't get rid of him because you're mad because because queer people have a right to be who they are. I look at the people, people like me, and people not like me, especially. Actually, to be fair, I focus more on people not like me. People who aren't middle, like who aren't middle class, who aren't white, who weren't raised lower, like lower class, who weren't, like, well, who were raised lower class, but like who were, who had all these other hurdles, like they didn't have white privilege, they didn't have this, that, like the things that I did. And I just think about them a lot in that country right now. And Biden didn't fix his shit, by the way. So don't come at me with that. I'm not saying vote blue no matter who, or in this case, vote red or else you're dead. Um, I'm not one of those people. I don't think that way. I wish we would stop pretending that we live like the states does and that there are only two parties. There are three, at least. And like... All this would probably be solved if we would just all vote third party. Like, just vote the NDP in. Start from scratch. But no. Because the queers have rights now. Because the queers are equal. We're not. We're not. Suddenly, Canada is garbage and Trudeau should be strung up. Like, fuck you. You have no idea. Like, again, if you have, like, you have, if you have like good reasons to be mad at, at Trudeau, like if you're indigenous, if you're not white, if you're like, yeah, absolutely fuck Trudeau in any of those places, in any of those regards. He fucks up when it comes to that. He is definitely for the majority white Canadian. And I can't deny that. But if you think that voting for someone Tory, who is not only also white, just as cis het white and male as Trudeau, but he's so much worse. You think, I know Trudeau doesn't give a shit about indigenous people, or black people, indigenous people, and, 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 uh, and all people of color. You think he doesn't care? Oh, wait till you figure out what, how little the Tories care. Like, this is what I'm saying. Nobody remembers because so many people who are speaking out are young. And I love the young, like not in a gross way, but like I respect young people. I, I, there's so much about this generation and below about the younger generations, like that I love so much that I know are, they're going to change the world for the better. But so many of them are susceptible to propaganda, to, social media to social grooming and it's going to happen. So when it does happen, when you morons ignorantly vote out Trudeau and instead of voting in somebody different, somebody third party, you're just going to vote in a Tory, the Tories. I hope you remember this video and I hope you realize that I told you so you have no, no foot like nothing, not even a seat to stand or sit on. If it all goes to shit afterwards, that's on you. And fuck you. Fuck you. Like just the fact that you don't understand how politics actually works or you don't care to, or you just think it's a popularity contest. Like, like this is not high school. This is your literal life. This is a country full of people that are not exactly like you. We all have to live together. I know you think majority rules and that status quo is status quo for a reason. But no. Tradition does not always equate success. If you vote Tory and if Trudeau goes down, 
this country will crash and burn. And everybody will go crash and burn with it, including the people that voted him out. You motherfuckers who love hate watching me for some fucking reason. Thanks for the views. But like, I hate you. Except for the ones that are good. If you're not hate watching me, I love you. But if you're hate watching me, I hate you. You're part of the problem. You're the reason why I can't, I haven't been able to live a normal life until recently. And you will be the reason why I, my life will be over. And I will lose all my rights when you vote your precious, precious Tory into office. And I know you couldn't give two shits or two fucks about me. But what if it was somebody you knew? Hmm? You don't know everybody in your life. You don't know that everyone in your life is cis or het. You don't know. How's it going to feel then? Hmm? Tell me. Because I really want to know. I want to know. I want to know how you would justify this in your mind. So like, say you know someone like in my situation who is queer, married to someone queer, in an interracial relationship, which is a no-no in Tory land. Yeah, it is. Under the Tories, it was illegal to be in an interracial relationship. So you'd be fucking ruining my marriage and my life, too. Do you not care about anybody about, except yourself? What about the kids? I thought it was, think of the children. No. If you vote Tory, you only give a shit about yourself, the color of your skin, and the privileges that you already take for granted and that you refuse to give to other people. And to that, I say... Fuck you. Go rot. The world is better off without you and people like you.